Welcome to a fresh edition of Election Watch. Supporters of the governing All Progressives Congress APC are consolidating as the September 28th date for the formal kickoff of political campaigns draws nearer. Consequently, the Northern APC Speakers Forum unveiled the campaign logo and vehicles of the APC Northern Door to Door for Tinubu Shatima 2023 in Abuja. The event had the presidential flag bearer Ashiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu and his running mate Senator Kashim Shatima in attendance. The former senator and two time Lagos State Governor said he had the foresight to identify Nigeria's problems and solve them headlong. While that event was happening, a documentary on the life of Tinubu was made public. The 30-minute video chronicles the early life of the APC flag bearer, his educational pursuits, business background and his political entrance. When we came in as a democratic government in 1999, May was precarious, was coming into a jungle and in an uncivilized environment. <laughs> Alahaji Atiku Abubakar, the presidential candidate of the opposition People's Democratic Party PDP, has continued his national engagement. He met with governorship candidates of the party at his residence in Abuja. It was an opportunity to x-ray the state of the nation and mobilize the electorate to return PDP to federal power come 2023. The meeting comes after the Waziri of Adamawa held a successful tour of Northwest Nigeria to galvanize support. Dr. Peter Obi, the Labour Party presidential candidate, has continued his tour of America with visits to Los Angeles, Houston, Charlotte, Washington DC, Atlanta and New York. Obi vowed to fix the economy, ensure security, rebuild public infrastructure and revolutionize Nigeria's education. In another development, the presidential candidate of the New Nigeria People's Party, NNPP, Rabiu Musa Kwankwasu, has continued his tour of North Central Nigeria with a stopover in Benue State. The two-time Kano State Governor received a rousing welcome when he commissioned the party's office at Wadata, Lagos Street, Makordi in Benue State. He earlier visited Boko to get blessings from the royal father, the Tortive, Professor James Aiswa Ayadze at his palace. It was an opportunity to inform the Tortive and Boko residents of his plans. You can catch up with more happenings in Nigeria's political space when you simply like and subscribe to this channel, as well as our social media handles and website, von.gov.ng. See you next time. Bye for now.